Hey guys, this is Chris Rocha. I'm here in California with Gretsch. Today we're going to talk about my new signature model. I'm in love with it. I know you're going to love it too. So when I received the uh, confirmation really that I'm going to have my own signature model, I, I, I was freaking out, man. I called all my buddies. I called my dad. He had a big part in <clears throat> this whole process. But what I, what I did first, I have a, a really good buddy, Andres Castro. I gave him a call. I was like, look, bro, he's a luthier. I'm like, help me build this signature model. I want this thing to just scream, man. I want this thing to be a big deal. And uh, we went through, I have a few different models of Gretsch, and I went through all the different types of things that I like from each one. And uh, well, the first thing you do is you think of what color is it going to be? Because I love aesthetics on guitars. That's one of the things that I love about Gretsch. The guitars are beautiful. It's like work. It's like a work of art, man. Every guitar they have. So I I went with white and gold. The combination of white and gold is always like connected with me. And I said I want this thing right away. I was like, oh, I want to go with white and gold. I love that combination. And the second thing I was like, okay, if we put something together, I want this thing to sound amazing. So. One of the biggest things for me is pickups. And I wanted to go with a pickup that kind of, I'm a, I love playing like aggressive type of tones and stuff. And I wanted a pickup that could match that aggression that I wanted, you know, and also had like that, you know, that grit chime and, you know, pulled out the harmonics and all that. So I went with the high sensitive filtertrons. We went with a few different options, but I said, you know, I want those. When I got that first sample in, I opened that thing up and man, it looked, I went with the wire bigs because I love the fancy look that it has. I love the uh, the sparkle binding that I have out here on the uh, on the body. Uh, I I actually gave my dad my very first prototype. I went through two different prototypes, and uh, he was going through something pretty rough a few months back. I didn't know he was going to make it through, but I made a trip down there. Me and my wife went down there, and I said, "Here you go, Dad. I want you to have this first prototype." And he, it raised his spirits, man. It was it was a big deal. He he put it in this background. He made a whole display out of it. And now you go to his house. As soon as you open that door, um, you'll see that that double home trailer. You open that double home trailer and you'll see that the signature model right there. But I'm really proud of this thing. I think that uh, the people that get this guitar, it's really going to make an impact on them because it doesn't only look awesome, but it sounds amazing. So uh, some guitar players that have inspired me, I remember being 12 years old and I drove from Rap Sound to San Antonio. It was like a two and a half hour trip with my brother-in-law and we went to go see uh, a G3 concert. And you have these freak shows, man. You have Steve Vai, you have Joe Satriani and that tour. It was Eric, Eric Johnson that I saw play and I was, man, it blew my head off. I was like, oh my gosh. What you can do as a guitar player, man, not only go nuts and have all these different types of techniques, but like create all these vibes, you know? So uh, I, out of those three guys, and they're all amazing, I think I connected probably the most with Eric Johnson just because he plays so melodic. And I've kind of adapted that type of like mindset into what I do. Um, obviously, I, I think on a technique wise, he's on a whole other planet than I am, but just being able to like, uh, adapt uh, and incorporate melodies in my productions. And if I have a chance to do some cool technique sounding thing or do something melodic that's gonna probably make the song better, I'm always gonna do that. So just incorporating like melodies and stuff that's like hooks and stuff like that within either my solos or what I play, uh, I think a lot of that came from just his, his way of being very melodic in, in how he plays. So the whole process of putting this thing together was was very smooth for me because I you know I have 
The different types of Gretches, you know, I have, a, I have some Jets, I have a Penguin, a Falcon, uh, those juniors that I really like, the broadcasters. So I kind of like looked at everything and, and everything was, I mean, I picked out like exactly what I love from all the different things and put that together. And uh, once I presented that to the team, um, it was actually pretty easy. It's a pretty easy process because I didn't want anything crazy. I didn't want to do something like out of what Gretch already does because I love what they already do. Uh, so yeah, we went with uh, you know the white body, the the the, um, the junior body style, and the sparkle binding is man, it's glorious, it's glorious. And I said I definitely want that. Uh, I do. I had a I have a penguin, um, a white penguin with the gold hardware. So I think a lot of the inspiration came from that penguin. But I fell in love with with the sound of the the semi hollow with the center block. So I went with that. I was scrolling through the website. It's funny because the Gretsch website is like on one of the first things on my phone. I'm always going through the different models they put out. And I ran across the Billy Duffy Falcon with the wire Bigsby. And just right away it popped out at me and I'm like, dude, this thing is fancy. That wire Bigsby just gives a whole, it gives it a whole other perspective. So I wanted to put that in there. This is actually the second prototype that I got. And that particular change, man, it, for me, it made a huge difference the way the neck feels. I feel like, okay, so when I when I design this guitar, the concerts that I do, I need a guitar that's gonna give me all the different dynamics of tones, right? You have like these uh, ambient type tones that we try to put out. And I do a lot of stuff in the worship industry, so I need to be able to provide that. But at the same time, I play a lot of really aggressive lead tones. so. I need a guitar that's gonna be able to cover the whole three hour concert that we do, you know? So I wanted to design something that could, I can pick it up in the first song and I don't have to be like, oh man, I gotta put this guitar down because this, this other song has something totally different. This guitar cannot provide that. So I designed this thing basically to be able to push all the different dynamics, all the different tones that you need within, within the concerts that I do, this thing can do it all. Um, so those were things for me. I'm like, these things have to be on this guitar. You know, when I met with the, you know, with the Gretsch team, it was pretty, pretty easy. I mean, honestly, I'm just, man, really honored to be a part of the team. Yeah, if I were to walk into like a store and see my my signature model hanging up, I'm man, all I think about is an eight-year-old little kid screaming inside of me. That little kid is just gonna freak out. And to to have that now, uh, to have this opportunity to kind of put my input on something that I really believe in, man, it's gonna it's gonna go nuts. And you know, my dad just uh, you know him guiding me and and in, and being there to support me throughout all these years. Uh, from being that little kid, I think it's just like something like I can give to him, like, this is what we did. So I'm going through different phases of my life. You know, I've gone through, you know, the whole, hey man, let's tour the world, let's start a band, let's make great music. And, and then you, once you, and you start going into, veering off into the business aspect of the music industry. But where I'm at now, I met with uh, Jason from Gretsch and he wanted to know my story. Um, and I told him my story, I said, look where I'm at right now in this season of my life. It's more about legacy for me, man. I've, 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 I feel privileged enough to be able to have played, I've played in so many amazing venues, so many different countries, but I want to inspire guitar players. That's where I'm at right now. I have a full-blown teaching platform, man. I get a hold of all different types of pedals and put out my presets and say, look, here's my sound. If you guys want my sound, here you go. Uh, so I have all different types of digital product products. I also have signature, you know, different types of pedals and stuff that I believe in that that's my sound. I want. I, I've had things happen to me in growing up where people didn't want to pour into me, people didn't want to teach me. It's it's the sad side of this industry, but I want to be the opposite of that. I want to inspire the guitar players. And I've actively been very intentional to try to make that happen. So my goal for this guitar is to inspire other guitar players to pick it up, play it, and do the same exact thing for them to inspire other people. <laughs>